Hey guys, welcome back to the Midwick Escape Artist. My name is Andre, and this is the Ironman 4x4 2.5 by 2 meter awning tent. Let's talk about it. All right, everyone, so this is the awning tent. Um, yeah, let's get it set up and see what's inside. Now, I haven't opened this up yet. Um, I meant to. Uh, I meant to have a look at it before, but <laughs> you know, time just gets away from me. So this is my first time. I'm opening it up with you. So I have watched a ton of content around this guy. So I kind of have an idea of what to expect. But uh, yeah, we're going to be learning together today. Cool. Yeah, so I was expecting the floor to be separate, which is cool. So I believe this is the main unit. Cool. All right, so that's the tent. <laughs> cool. So, okay, here we go. So, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but there is a sail track attached to a zip. Now, this one is intended to go on the front of the awning. So, I think what we'll do is we're going to remove this guy. It's going to unzip him all the way. Oh. Cool. And I'm going to connect this to the front of my awning. Let's do it. All right, so what I've done is um, I've got the, the flap and the zip to the front. So I'm just going to work that in on the lowest sail track. And we're just going to feed that through. Now we've got to do the back. So I'm just going to try and work out the orientation. Right. So that's on the inside. So I'm just going to feed this in to my cell track here. Now, when you're doing this sort of stuff, it's important to keep your uh, sail kind of straight or as straight as you can take, can get it. There we go. And now we can just clip him on. <laughs> Alright guys, so the next step is just to get the uh, get the floor attached. Now, I'm probably going to leave the floor attached when I pack up tomorrow. Well, I'll see if I can. But this process is fairly simple. There's a zip running all the way along the bottom and a zip running all the way along the bottom with the actual ground, um, ground sheet. So we just got to align the zips. Oh, and there's like orange toggles to indicate, to show you exactly where they're meant to go, which is useful. Just going to slide that in there. There we go. And now, hopefully, we can just zip the floor in. Let me do that. There we go. Done. So that also didn't take very long. So if you had to take the floor off and put it back on, I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, it looks great. All right, the next step, I've just got to get the corners down and uh, I'll bring you back. So you guys, hopefully you guys have seen my video on the uh, 23-0 Raven 2000 awning, which I'm absolutely in love with. And when I put that thing up and started using it, it kind of lent itself to the idea of getting an awning tent. And I looked around at a few different options and tried to find one that sort of met what I was looking for. 
and I ended up on the Ironman 4x4. Um, so I bought this awning tent to go under my awning, obviously. Um, I bought it because it gives a ton of covered space. It's relatively easy to put up. It doesn't take very long. Um, some of the cons of it though is it's huge. It packs down. It's a, it's a big thing to put in your car. It really is. But I think it makes up for it in the convenience it gives as well as the head height. So the entire thing, I'll put some specs on the, uh, on the side of the video here for you, but it's mega high, it's mega wide and mega deep. <laughs> so it's really good. I love the space that it gives. It's actually really, really nice. And because it's a square footprint, it's easy to sort of navigate and put stuff in and move yourself around. Now, the entire floor zips in and out, so it should be relatively easy to clean if you, if you do get it soiled, which is a really nice feature. Um, it also does have these really cool sort of door flaps um, for like dirty shoes and muddy boots and stuff like that. So I think that's really nice as well. And in addition to that, it's got four doors, guys, four doors, two on each side, one in the back so you can still access your vehicle and then one in the front. And the, the side doors and the front door double as awnings as well. So as you can see, I've got this one up here as a little bit of an awning. The side ones, you can do that as well, which is really nice. I'm a big fan of that. Um, huge mesh doors. They, this front one zips open all of the way. <laughs> so it's really nice. And um, you can close those flaps as well, giving you some privacy on the inside. Um, I think it's a great design. I really like it. Now, this is my first time putting it up today, so I may not have done it 100% correct. So please bear with me. I will work it out. Um, but so far, guys, I'm really, really impressed with this. The quality looks good. I haven't seen any drop stitching yet. Um, I haven't seen any issues that concern me. The buckles that it attaches to the ground with, as well as the rest of the awning, look really decent quality. They look really strong. Um, it connects very solidly, if that makes sense. It's very tight. Um, I'm a big fan, guys. But let me show you some of the little details and uh, we'll take it from there. Sweet. All right, guys, so we're around the side of the uh, awning tent now. So I just wanted to show you. So it connects with these really solid clips that go onto your awning pole. Um, they're really solid. They don't really move around too much. It's great. And the other benefit of having something like this, which not many people have spoken about, is that the tent itself has a roof as well. So now you have a double roof over your shelter with an air gap about that thick, that much of an air gap between the awning and the tent, which is going to insulate you against heat and cold as well. I think that's very cool. And that's something worth noting. Um, where else are you going to get a two wall roof sort of structure? I think that's great. I really do. Let's move on. So we're around the other side of the awning tent now. As you can see here, there is a fair amount of space between the tent and my car. Um, I think that's really interesting because there is a huge door right on the side. So you can still very easily access the back door, or the front door of your vehicle from inside the tent. I think that's awesome. Very, very cool design. And as you can see here, it's just connected into my sail track onto my awning and that's it solid um, I think I could have done a better job pulling it out here but um, <laughs> I did the best I could <laughs> there we go I'll show you the rest so now we're on the inside of the tent and as you can tell there is quite a lot of room in here quite a lot um, I am gonna say in terms of floor space usable floor space it is probably double my um, Ostent RV3 which the review I'll link up in there for you. Actually, it's the SV Max I reviewed and the RV3. So I'll put both of them up there for you and in the description below. But this has a lot more usable space. Seriously, because the walls are sheer, you don't lose anything to sort of dome shapes or triangular shapes or anything like that. It is a completely sheer side wall, which gives you a lot of space. Now I'm 165 and I think the height here is rated for up to two meters. So you can extend that up to two meters up, which is really, really tall. That's awesome. Um, some of the other little things that are in here that's quite cool to mention is over here, we've got a enormous sort of set of pockets that run all the way down. Really cool little storage option there. 
Um, what else is there? There's obviously this is the back door where you can access your car. I'm not going to open that now because I just don't need to. But yeah, guys, I think this is amazing. It really is a very nice piece of kit. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but the roof is very dark. It's very dark up here um, because obviously I've got the blackout Raven awning at the top um, and it's really doing a good job. I can't even feel any heat coming through here. Now, granted, it's not very hot today, but I still, I can't feel anything coming through, which is absolutely amazing. And I can tell by the shape, if it was to rain and rain got in, I don't think we'll get any pooling. It, I, don't, I, just, I don't think we would, which is great. That's another really cool feature of this thing. Um, and yeah, guys, I think this is a great piece of kit. Solid waterproof PU floor. Um, I'm going to assume the zips are waterproof as well. I hope that they are because on this side it can be a little low. So if you've got a sort of a lower style 4x4, this tent might not work for you because you do want the walls pretty much extended all the way. So on future trips, what I'll do is I'll bring some leveling blocks and I'll lift this side of the car up a bit um, just to give us that extra little bit of height. But yeah, guys, I think this is great. I think it is really awesome. Now, like I said to you, some of the cons of this setup, it doesn't pack down small. It's not exactly lightweight, but look at everything you get. I think it's awesome. These massive doors, full Nosia mesh. I think it's a great, great little design. And I think for what you pay to get something like this, if you have an awning on your car already, Something like this is a no-brainer for camping, really. It's an absolute no-brainer. Um, so if you've got an awning on your car, definitely get one. If you're going to get an awning, I'd have a look at this. Um, if you've got space in your car for something of this size. And I, I've got a Jimny, guys, and this thing fits in my car, no problem. Um, it's about the size of one of my 50-liter um, uh, camping containers. It's about that size. So, yeah, it's large, but wow. <laughs> it's amazing guys thank you so much for joining me for this one if you have any questions anything i haven't covered pop them in the comments below i'll be sure to respond to you is there anything else that you're using um have you guys got an, another a different style of awning tent or a different way of putting it up or a different way of of uh, of using your awning please pop that in the comments below i'd love to hear from you um, i'm keen to see what everyone else is using and how it's going and yeah like i said guys any questions pop them in I'm going to keep going with this beautiful camp and uh, yeah, I'll come back to you for the next one. Thanks guys. See you again.